The latest update on Tropical Storm Jose brings the track a little too close to comfort to parts of the Northeast. Uh, moving into the weekend as it gets eventually north-northwest in its motion closer to the middle Atlantic coast. And now the Northeast needs to be on standby for this storm. If there's one spot on domestic soil that is at greatest risk for something resembling a landfall, it would probably be Cape Cod or the New England coastline. I ain't crazy. I'm sciencing for sure. Oh, well. Wow. Deal with it. Wait. Start to see pictures, ain't you? Stay cool. There were other people. Why should you be the only one involved? But I am involved. We are all involved. I need your love. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. Yeah, son's acting weird. I'm acting weird. You're acting weird. Everybody's acting weird. The latest on the cone is bringing it too close to comfort to the northeast, namely Long Island and the Cape. You can see the Cape and Long Island both lie in that cone right now. So we could see it make a close pass by the middle of next week. Now keep in mind the track could change, so we're not saying that this exactly will happen, but... All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am not a professional meteorologist. I am just Star-Lord New Thor 7, and I'm making a video explaining to you exactly why I think Jose is going to affect and make landfall on the East Coast or get close enough to do damage as it rakes from here all the way up. Now here's Jose right here. And notice he's been doing the loop-de-loo, sit and spin, the 30 rock muffin top, whatever that is. Okay, so there's Jose, right? And here has been our drier air here. And notice this is what Jose has been fighting with. Can you see that? So literally Jose has been fighting. I've been watching this for days. So if you'll notice, this is the moisture. And it looks like the moisture won out and it has started to clear a path. Now I guess this drier air can continue to push out. But it does look like, in my opinion, that this has kind of cleared its path. And that this moisture right here has set up the ground for Jose to enter in. So in the next few days, we'll see it spin. And then we'll see it kind of hitch over. So it'll go up there. See what I'm saying? I've been watching this, I don't know, for like a whole week. And that's why I think Jose, because I've been watching this battle. And it, once this line of moisture cut in and gained ground right there, you know, see that, that is going up and out. And so I think Jose is going to flip back around and then slide in right there. So that's what I've been watching. And keep watching this over the next two days. But that is why I assume Jose is going to make landfall or get real close to do, do, do to do damage and screw up the East Coast, which would then Texas, Florida, and uh, now the East Coast. And so it's like, I don't know, I've just been telling people to prepare and to plan. And I would think after two direct landfall hits, people would be much more alert, much more heightened awareness. And it just seems like professional meteorologists have been wish casting. No offense, guys, you've done a great job, but like this here, you know, like you guys don't even show it really getting that close. And this only seems to have the models like, there's no GFS, there's no European, there's no NAV gym, which is weird. So, literally, I don't even know why they include the XTRP, because it always is, like, totally wrong. But, so this, of all these models, none of it show it making landfall. So, what I'm basing on right there is that if you look, it's been fighting this battle, fighting this battle, and it made its gain ground right there, and that is pushing up, and so that's its pathway. So, I highly recommend everybody prepare, and this is, like, Lee and then Maria. So, there you go. And it's like people forget that Harvey went from a little tropical depression to a major Category 3 hurricane in 48 hours. And with Irma, as I had mentioned, that when the models keep taking it west, then usually it makes landfall a little west. And guess what? That's Lee right there making landfall on the model. And so I was correct there that it went into the Gulf side and it made landfall on the west side of Florida. So if Jose makes landfall to the west, you know, only a few more miles, that's going to cause serious problems. So I definitely think it's best for people to stay aware, be prepared. I don't know why people have been downplaying this. It's like we've had two major landfalls that have done major damage. So even if Jose doesn't make landfall, the models are showing Lee and Maria to be big problems. Anyway, so that's just, that's why I think Jose is going to be more, that's why I think Jose is going to cause more trouble than most people are saying. Take it with a grain of salt. I'm not a professional meteorologist. All right. Peace out. God bless everyone. Stay cool.